Hey guys and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Vesperia the Definitive Edition with Alexa for Games. On the last episode, we uh, we woke up. <laughs> we got stabbed and we woke up in our room back in Zophius. Um There we met Duke who took back his sword. He was actually the one to save us when we fell from Zelda. Um, and then once he left, we, we learned a little bit more about the Children of the Full Moon and stuff from a book while he was there. And then we left. And we met up with Estelle and Rapide first, and then uh, gradually met up with the rest of our party. Uh, found out that Rita has found a way to control air using Apathea. Uh, we stole an Apathea with the help of Harry. Thanks, Harry. Um, and then we went on to do side quests, because there is an absolute butt-ton of side quests that we need to get done before we do the next story beat. So... Guess what we're doing today? It's more side quests. Um, the reason I went with a field map is actually I was heading to Torum and I noticed that we have a skit that only shows up on the world map. So um, here it is. When you put your mind to it. <sighs> what? Tired already? What a poor excuse for a warrior. T tired? No way. Not me. It wouldn't be strange if you were, Carol. You've come the farthest out of all of us. The, the farthest out of all of us? <laughs> Maybe. You're young. Young people have to work hard. It's nothing to be getting all worked up over. <sighs> Carol may be energetic, but he's still a child. He doesn't have as much strength as the rest of us. Uh, I'm fine. I can work just as hard as you two do. Exactly. You can't be using your age to get out of doing your part for the team. I, I know that. Carol, you're really good when you put your mind to it. <laughs> hey, Carol. You weren't just fishing for a compliment from Judith, were you? I hate maybe he was who knows <laughs> in any case he has come really really far i'm very proud of him in any case we're gonna do side quests now um hello i feel like i've seen you before would you like to speak to me a fiery soul into a sea of flames it's you hello there i apologize for not staying in touch why would you all we did was deliver a package uh, that's a good point. We heard from you that there's something you'd like to have done. Really? Oh, I would be so grateful. Thank goodness for friends, right? I have actually heard your guild mentioned here and there recently. I thought you could probably find the answer I seek. So you want to hire Brave Vesperia? Yes, that's right. I'd actually like you to go gather information about a certain something. Gather information? Sounds like another job that just keeps going and going. Well, I tried to do it myself, but I've also asked whatever guilds would help. So far, though, there haven't been any promising leads. However, I cannot afford to be dissuaded. I must obtain what I seek at any cost. This sounds pretty... serious. Yes, for me it is a matter of great importance. Great importance, huh? So, what is it you're looking for? An ore of the metal known as Everlight. But that's... The girl who asked for our help back in Dawngrass. Her necklace was made of Everlight. She did say something about her dad digging up in a mine somewhere. Really? Yes, we might be able to get more information if we asked her a few questions. Splendid. You will of course be paid well for useful information. Allow me to explain. You really need this Everlight. What are you going to use it for? A dream I would give my life for. A dream you'd give your life for? Sorry, I should bore you with personal matters. Will you do this for me? Uh, hell yeah we will. Well, guess we better see if we can get this thing done. Oh, really? We couldn't possibly refuse to help with something that's so important to you. We accept this task in the name of the brightest star in the night sky, Brave Vesperia. Thank you. I'm counting on you. I'll be waiting here in this town for a while in case you find some good news. Alright, um, we'll go to Dongress then and speak to Rihanna. Hi. So what's the connection between the father of that woman in Dongress that knows about the Everlight? Well, anyway, bring me some information. I'll be waiting right here. Hey, guys, look! Come see us again real soon, Kay! 
Okay. That's a promise. We run, in, we run into each other in the craziest places. Whoa, now let's take it easy. This isn't really the time. What's wrong, Gosh, droid? Uh, um... Goodbye. Okay, bye! Now, what do you suppose those two are up to? Pardon me, but are you acquaintances of those two young ladies? I wouldn't say acquaintances, really. Oh, I'm so relieved. Huh? I worry about those girls. They have the misfortune of being easily misunderstood, you see. But now that I see they have this many friends, I can stop my worrying. Misunderstood? But they're members of the Leviathans- Oof! And how might you know our friends, miss? I am the governess of this home, and they once lived under his roof. Home? This orphanage was built to shelter those children who have no one to depend on. Uh, the two of them lost their family in the war ten years ago. She's gotta mean the Great War. Hey, who are they? If they're our big sis's enemies, I'll beat them up! Here now, hush, both of you. How generous and kind of you. It must not be an easy job. Oh my, no. I could never manage all of this alone. It is all made possible by the donations I receive. Jaeger is his name. He really does too much for us. Jaeger? But what do he want to do a thing like that for? I don't know his reasons, but he has never asked for anything in return. Nanny, I'm hungry! Oh yes, it's time, isn't it? Sorry, I must be going. I wonder what it could mean. I wouldn't think he would have... I wouldn't think he would have much interest in charity. Something is going on here. I mean, those two are obviously Jaeger's personal guard. You don't think he raised them as orphans just to make them his underlings? He might just try something like that. Huh? What is it, Lass? Oh, I... When we were talking with her just now, I truly felt that whoever did this had good intentions. But can that person... Can that really be the Jaeger we know? Your guess is as good as mine. <sighs> well, that was a thing. Okay. Definitely interesting to hear a little bit more about Goshen Droid. Also, I have no idea if I pronounced her name right. I am sorry. I don't know French. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, it's, it's interesting to hear more about them. And also about Jaeger, because uh, he donated to this orphanage as well. Gosh, I mean, I wonder if... Maybe it wasn't so much raising them as his underlings, but he actually maybe cared about them? Because it was ten years ago. Maybe, like, Raven has now found a group of people he wants to stay with. Maybe Jaeger back then found the twins and wanted to stay with them. Well, who knows? I don't know, personally. I can't remember. <laughs>
There's no telling if there's any Everlight left there anymore. I'm afraid I don't know anything more than that. That's plenty. Thanks. Hey! Did you find anything out? She said it was 20 years ago on Mount Temza. 20 years ago? Huh? What was? That area's been a wasteland ever since the Great War. But rocks are rocks. War shouldn't really affect things like that. Judy, weren't you born there? Didn't you ever hear anything about this? Well, I was really little when I lived there. I've never heard anyone talking about Everlight. Hmm. Okay. Wouldn't it be faster just to go and see if we can get any ourselves? Yeah, you're right. Let's take a trip to Mount Temza. And now we get to run about and go to Mount Temza! Yay! Oh. I forgot there was a scene here. Okay. It feels like it was ages ago that I left. <laughs> you feel the same way, Baul. You're talking with Baul? Yeah. We were just remembering the time that we first met. Would you mind telling me about it? A long time ago, Baul used to live on the summit of Mount Temza. The townspeople all feared him. They thought of him as a giant, ferocious monster. But I talked to Baul, and eventually we became friends. About how old were you then? I don't remember exactly, but I think I was pretty young. From that point on, we started traveling together. My dad came too. Your father did? My dad had a fierce passion for Blastia. I feel like I was influenced by him a lot as I grew up. Soon after that, the Great War happened. I was about to become a statistic, and then Baul saved me. You were right in the middle of the battle, weren't you? Yes. My fellow Critians took me up to Murzo for a while, but I went back down to the surface. And then I decided to travel around the planet with Baul to destroy all of the Hermes Blastia and rid the world of its negative effects. I see. So Baul saved your life. Yes. I feel like I understand the connection between you two a lot better now. Thanks for sharing that with me. Dad. Okay. <laughs> that was a scene. We get to learn a little bit more about Judy, hey! <laughs> oh man. She used to fly around with her father and Baul. How oh, sweet. <laughs> Alright, um, I'm gonna... Oh yeah, also we have a new weather condition, it's windy and I don't like it. Right, we're gonna head through Mount Temza. Because... As I said, I, I don't know how far I have to go in until I get a scene, so... Also, that's a gigantic monster, we're gonna ignore it for now. Uh, hold on, holy bolt time, and I'll see you guys in a minute. I can break rocks now! I can get the chests here! Yay! Uh, golden helm, nice, okay. I got an overdrive lady! Oh my goodness, guys, it's a new attachment for a good boy repeat! It's the overdrive lady, slightly different from riding on Baul. Riding on the ground can be nice too. And it's little Judith! It's so cute! I'm gonna keep her on now. A little change from um, overdrive warrior, but yeah, we'll have an overdrive lady on for a while. I believe it should just be up here. What's this? Huh? Hey, what's that red thing over there? Is that... Hey, there are a lot of impurities, but this is definitely Everlight Ore. Awesome! Now we just need to tell Nobis and we're done with this job. Hey, shouldn't we bring some back for him since we're here? Sure, I don't see why not. Well, let's do some digging then. Here we go. This is a pretty good sized chunk. Acquired the following Everlight Ore, a raw Everlight Stone, very difficult to process. Hey, do you all hear something? What is that? Well, do we fight it? 
No, wait! Let's get out of here! You heard him. Oh, okay! A sign of victory! Yeah! Yay! You got pretty good. Nice! I had a holy ball on. This is just... Oh, hey, we have a skit here. Ruler of the party. Hey, Patty. Are you cooking again today? I could take care of it if you want. Nah, I like what I'm doing, so don't worry. I wonder if she has some ulterior motive. She's always seemed like the calculating type to me. Patty is a fine young woman. Well, she might be aiming to set her hook in Yuri at the very least. If you want to catch me with food, you'll have to at least give me a personalized menu. She doesn't give him any special treatment. Hmm. If you don't understand, then I'll tell you. The real power in any family lies in the kitchen. The real power? The person in charge of the food has the most sway over the household. Precisely. You all need to eat, so you can't ignore me. It is hard to talk back to the one who has all our food. So show me proper deference. That's fair, okay. <laughs> yeah, if you're in charge of the sustenance, then you're kind of in charge of the the livelihoods of everyone around you. <laughs> Kidding? That thing's still following us? My guess is it's not after us. You think it wants the Everlight? Probably. Stop right there! That voice. Where did you come from? Yuri, where are you going in such a hurry? Hmm? We've got all the time in the world. Hey, you kind of caught us at a bad time. <laughs> it's never a good time when you're in reach of my blade, Yuri Lowell. Couldn't hope to satisfy me. You want to die first, huh? <laughs> Piece of crap. Should we be going? Yeah, I don't want to fight any pointless battles, right, Carol? Yeah, we don't really have time for this anyway. Ah! I'm gonna rip your ugly head off, monster! I, I wonder if he's okay. Which one of them do you mean? Um, hmm. All right, all right, let's, uh, let's get out of here. Uh, before we get attacked by a giant bird. Hey, are we really gonna take this with us? Of course. I mean, it's the job we were given. And you saw how much the client wanted this Everlight. Yeah, but why was that monster so interested in it? Baul should be able to outfly him, right, Judith? Of course, but that's not really the issue here, is it? No, I just wonder if it's really okay to carry off something that seems so important. Nobis trusted us to do this job for him. I want to take this back to him. I think it's the right thing to do. Well, if you put it like that... Maybe we should just ask the client what he'd like us to do. Yeah, let's do that. But doesn't that require leaving the Everlight Ore here and then... Well, whatever. I guess we'll just do that. <laughs> I mean, I feel like if we've come all the way back to the bottom of the mountain, then there's no point in leaving without it. But whatever. Okay. Right, let's head back to Nobis um, in Torum. I can just go straight over this way of the map now. I don't have to worry about plot. Life is good. <laughs> oh man, for so long I, I was so scared to go through the middle because Zelda was there. Look, there it is. Oh yeah, and if you fly over it now, 
Um, you can see that the giant Blastia is no longer on the top because it got... Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure Alexi's body might be there. Crushed. Slightly mutilated. You know, it's not exactly a, a nice thing to think about, but yeah, no, he died. <laughs> he died. Okay, let's go into Torum, shall we? Alright, hi, Nobis! Look, we brought you the Everlight! Oh, I never imagined you would deliver it to me directly. Thank you so very much. With this, we can finally revive our guild. Revive? Did something happen to your guild? No, it's it's nothing. Here, take this as a show of my gratitude. Acquired 5,000 gold. Now that I've acquired it, I mustn't waste even a single moment. You think he'll be all right? Must really be in a hurry if he's heading out of town on his own. That voice. I... I don't believe it! Damn, he sure is persistent. Nobis is in trouble. Let's go. It looks like the monster got away with the stone. Hey, are you okay? After all that searching, now I'll have to start over. This wound is terrible. Let's carry him to the inn. Well, he'll live, but he shouldn't be moved for quite some time. He's lucky you were here. What a stupid thing to do. I don't care what the reason. Anybody who steps outside a barrier alone is crazy. I figure this will make him give up on the Everlight. He's lucky to get off with his life. I guess we shouldn't have brought the Everlight to him after all. I should have listened to you, Yuri. Hey, it's his own fault for charging out like that. You got nothing to worry about, Carol. Yuri... But we should decide what our guild will do if something like this happens again. We do need to try and define Brave Vesperia's rules as we gain more experience. Yeah. Hey, don't get all down on yourself. We just started as a guild. Yeah, we'll only get better from here on. I mean... Yes, it was stupid, stupid of him to run out on his own. But... At the very beginning of the story, Yuri, weren't you quite ready to go out on your own with just a dog at your side to go and find the Aquablastia. I mean, you had a stell there, luckily, but... You you would have just been there with the dog. <laughs> I understand that Yuri's got fight experience from the Knights. Um, he's no ordinary civilian. He's got a Blastia, even. But Nobis didn't have any of that. So he was bound to get attacked. Especially if the bird followed us that far. In any case, um... I do believe we have to go and talk to the bartender again in Dongress because we want more guild jobs. Brave Vesperia has to get more experience and um, we've got some things that we want to be doing so we're gonna do that. <laughs> Alright, bartender, our previous client got attacked by a big bird but we want another job because we can totally be trusted as a guild. <laughs> oh man, it's not our fault, okay? We're not the ones who ran out on our own. Okay. Hello. Give me a job. All right. Uh, hi there. Well, now if it isn't the brave pizzeria, it's brave Vesperia. You're gonna have to forgive me. Never been very good with names. Here for more work? Uh, yes. So you're up to it, huh? Well, let's see here. Oh, right, there is that one thing. Hmm. Something the matter? Nah, it's just that this one's come as a direct request from the unit itself. Does that mean it's a tough job? Not necessarily. 
are more likely that the client isn't too familiar with the way the union and guilds work. I wish to be put in contact with a certain guild, Mimula. Why did the union pass this job to you? This person approached the union directly about getting a hold of this guild they mentioned here. And the union isn't a matchmaking service for guilds and their potential clients. Then why is the job being posted here? Because we're in the business of lending a hand to the newer guilds that can't find work on their own yet. Huh, so that's what's up. Well, what do you think? Should we take the job? What do they mean by a certain guild? That's something only the guild that takes the job gets to know, I'm afraid. The reward is 6,000 gold. Will you take it? Oh, uh, yes. The client for this job isn't exactly nearby. Are you up to it? Where are they? The Imperial Capital of Zophius. That means... This Mimula isn't somebody you know, is it, Yuri? No, not a name I've heard before. Wine. Maybe a more recent arrival? We might as well have a look. With Baul's help, it's just a short flight away. Whiff. Alright, let's go. Wow, we have to head to Zafius next? It's almost as if I have to go to Zafius for something else as well. Alright, we are back in Zafius. It's nighttime apparently, but like, okay. Um, I believe that there's something up here in Ah yes. It's a sad looking LeBlanc. Hi, how are you? What's wrong? What's going on, LeBlanc? C Captain Schwan! Nah, you gotta be mixed up with somebody else. I apologize, you are Sir Raven, plain and simple. There he goes again with the Sir Raven, plain and simple. What's a former elite officer of the Schwan Brigade doing loitering around in a place like this? Oh, well, you see, that is... Concise reporting, LeBlanc. Yes, sir, I was agonizing over the future of the Schwan Brigade, sir. I believe that we should go to help fill in the ranks of the Flynn Brigade, but other lieutenants claim that we should remain in the capital. With the officers paralyzed with hesitation about our next step, our subordinates are losing their faith in us as leaders. I am so ashamed. How could I ever face Captain Schwan like this? And yet, what if he happened to be standing right in front of you? I am so sorry! Rita! Um, Raven? Well, I can't just turn a blind eye to the brigade. It was Schwan who led them all into this. Are you going to gather the members of the Schwan Brigade together and lead them yourself? LeBlanc, is that what you want me to do? Sir, no sir. I do not want to w cause trouble for you, Sir Raven. So then, who's going to decide where the brigade will go? Uh, sir, that would be me, sir. I will proudly bear the weight of the responsibility and guidance for my brigade. If you've made your decision, then act on that decision. And I'm willing to bet that Schwan would think it's important to support the Flynn Brigade, in addition to guarding the capital. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Sounds like you gave him some good advice. Nah. Oh, wrong person. <laughs> Nah, Raven just gave him a little push. LeBlanc already knew what he wanted to do. The first time I heard you were Captain Schwan, I didn't believe it. But you're just like the rumors said. It was the same when Harry and the guild members asked for your help. You really watch out for others, don't you, old man? Nah, I just listened to what LeBlanc had to say, that's all. Oh, is somebody embarrassed? You're helping people without pampering them. That's tough. I wonder if I'll ever be like you, Raven. Putting old Raven up on a pedestal won't get you anywhere in life, kid. Lots of people respect and admire Captain Schwan. So, I don't think you really have to deny everything about him. <sighs> I can't argue with such a pretty girl. Raven earned the Imperial Knight's Captain title. So... We just got a, a tail for Raven. I'm sure you can guess what it is. Even though you're an ex-knight, you'll always be a legend. For that, I salute you. We can now dress him up as Schwan. <laughs> oh man, I, I love this costume. I'm pretty sure the hat and stuff only works with this costume. 
Yeah, I thought so. So you can't put the hat on him unless he's wearing the schwan outfit. <laughs> Possibly also some other ones that I don't know about, but when I saw it, it didn't work on his regular outfit, I was just thinking, oh, okay, that's a schwan exclusive. But yeah, no, um, if I wanted, I could have him be schwan. But no, we'll just stick with plain old Raven for now. Um, he's the immortal old man that we all want at our party. Um, all right, now let's head down to the lower quarter, I believe that's where we're supposed to- Actually, no, there's something up in the noble quarter as well. I'll go there first, um, and then I'll head to the lower quarter. There's so much to do. So many things to see. It's great. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> All right, I think there should be someone around here somewhere. Um, oh, here we go. Why won't my brother come back? No one's left to oppose the marriage. loon has been waiting for him this entire time. I have to do something so that the three of us can be happy again. I can't rely on anyone else anymore. I have to help him. Does something seem odd about Shell to you? Hey, Shell. Oh, hello. Do you need something? Well, it's about your brother. Oh, don't worry about that anymore. I'm sorry I asked such an odd favor of you. Please forget I ever said anything about it. But what about Clay? I've been thinking about it, and I've decided that I can't entrust this sort of thing to anyone else. This is something that I have to do myself, so please, don't let it trouble you. Now, if you'll excuse me. What was that all about? He said he'd handle it himself. You think he's got some idea where his brother might be? Hard to say. It still bothers me a bit, but if he says that he doesn't want our help, I guess that's the end of it. This leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Well, I mean, you can't exactly force him to ask you for help. You know, if he's decided that he doesn't want help in the end, then he doesn't want help. Can't do much about it. <laughs> alright, alright. Um, I believe now we have to go to the lower quarter. Um, oh my god, a doggo. Wait, this is a, this is a thing? Woof. Bark. Woof, woof, woof. Bark, woof. I wonder what they're talking about. Yeah, me too. You too? Yuri, I thought you understood what Rapine means when he's barking. When did I ever say that? Oh, that dog ran off. But don't you inter- But you- But don't you interpret what Rapine says sometimes? Nah, I've just been saying whatever I think he might be thinking at the time. Really? I'm not so sure. Do I really look like a dog whisperer to you? Oh, he came back! Hey, the puppy came and brought something for the pup. Acquired the following. Friendship Farball. A sign of friendship and trust. You can count on your friends no matter how far apart you are. What is it? Looks like the little wolf's fur. Ah, I see what's going on. The pups are having a territory marking competition. Right, and with that fur, Rapide will be able to use his sense of smell to figure out where the little wolf is. Oh, I see. That dog went and brought back the fur that had been left in town. With this, not even your rival's a match for you. Right, pup? Woof. Okay! Woof. I love dogs. The fact that I get a scene just because I love dogs is beautiful. I just wanted to talk to the dog and I got a scene out of it. Oh, hello, LeBlanc. Nice to see you again. Y you there! It's curtains for- Oh. Wait. We're in the middle of carrying out a secret I say mission. Adacor, our investigations of anti-imperial activity are strictly confidential. You might want to reacquaint your boys here with the meaning of the word secret. Idiots! Apologies, beg, I sir. say beg your pardon, sir! What did I do to deserve this? As you can see, I've got no time for small talks with the likes of you. What's the deal? Those extremists causing problems for you again? Yes, sir, Captain Raven, sir! <laughs> They're up to more mischief than ever before! I say, we've had reports of them slinking and sneaking around the lower quarter. 
Well then, I'm sure you'll get the job done. Good luck to you. I never dreamed we'd receive the praise of the princess and the captain in person. Thank you for this gracious kindness. The extremists, huh? Those are the guys who plant bombs, hurt people, and put the town in a general state of panic, right? The very ones. We haven't heard much from them for a while, but it looks like they're up to their old tricks again. Are there really people who do things like that? Yeah. I can understand that they aren't thrilled with the Empire, but they've got no right involving innocent people. Unlike the guilds, they're a pretty disorganized bunch. People with chips on their shoulders tend to be that way. It makes it hard to put a stop to them once and for all. Well, it isn't like we have any clues ourselves. Shouldn't we just leave it to the knights? Suppose you're right. You can count on us, your highness, sir! Alright. Sure, LeBlanc, we will trust in you because you are a knight and you are doing your job. I see Ted is not here, but it is nighttime, so he must be asleep because he's a child. Alright, let's go into the tavern. I believe the person we're supposed to speak to is in here. Oh, there she is. Uh, hello, you're clearly someone important, right? Are you Mimula? That's right. And just who might you be? We're Brave Vesperia! The guild who took the job you posted with the Union. It's about time. I will, of course, dock your pay for all the waiting you've made me do. What? That's not fair! Is this indecent young lady part of your brave... whatever you call it as well? Do you have a problem with how I'm dressed? It's your reputation. Now, are you serious about taking the job? Well, what does it involve? I haven't seen my butler, Sebastian, since he left to negotiate with a certain guild. I'd like to get some word from him, but nobody seems willing to go for me. Have you considered going yourself? It would make a lovely day trip, I'm sure. <sighs> this is no time for jokes. I have no interest in going any place that vile. Which is where we come in, right? Naturally, the commoners must heed the words of the nobility. So what's a high and mighty noble like you doing in the lower quarter? Well, I... You see... Ugh, how rude! Why should you care? And what guild are you talking about? They are called Leviathan's Claw. Leviathan's? You are to find out first if Sebastian is safe, and second, how the negotiations have gone. What was he supposed to negotiate? That is none of your concern. Yeah, it's not, but we don't need any extra hassle. So basically, you'd like us to bring this Sebastian back to you. That's right. If we're dealing with Leviathan's Claw, I guess we're off to the manner of the wicked. Just what kind of dangerous hobbies are you people into? Ugh, I thought I told you it was none of your business. You need only concern yourselves with the work I've hired you to do. Such emotion is unbecoming of your ladyship. <laughs> I hear you, Rapide. Let's get going. Right. We accept this task in the name of the brightest star in the night sky. Brave Vesperia! What? Is that your little slogan? Please. We can't possibly understand the refined tastes of such an elegant lady, Carol. <laughs> oh, how dare you make fun of me! I won't stand for it. <clears throat> hey, at least we're doing the job that you're paying us to do. Uh, hi there, how are you doing? I don't care if the barrier goes down or monsters attack, I will protect this home. So don't you worry about us back here, Yuri. Thank you, I, I appreciate that. Also, there is a dog in the background, and I love it. Oh my god, it's so cute, it's sleeping! Okay, sorry. Uh, let's quickly head to the Matter of the Wicked, then. I think we have enough time to do this. Hey, you guys are... Brave Vesperia. How nice of you to remember. The boss isn't here anymore. Yeah, no reason for you to come sniff around here anymore. Anybody named Sebastian come here lately? Hmm, never heard of him. Wait, you know as well as I do, we've got no idea what to do with that guy. That he is here. We kept him here under house arrest while Jaeger was still with us. But to tell the truth, he's getting to be a waste of space these days. What are you saying? You're supposed- you're talking to Jaeger's killers! Jaeger is dead and gone. We're gonna have to face that fact sooner or later. But there's a condition. C 
condition? We're trying to start an alliance with a guild called the Soulsmiths. Why would we want to do anything to help a bunch of armed smugglers? Go ahead, try and force your way in then. Alrighty, let's play nice now. Hmm. We need weapons to defend ourselves against the monsters, don't we? Without Jaeger, it's all we can do to survive out here. The Soulsmiths. Have you heard of them? Of course I know them. They're one of the five master guilds, and they specialize in blacksmithing. But unlike the others, they keep pretty much to themselves. They build a forge deep inside a mountain, and they still live there, tucked away from the world. That's it. We need somebody to find them for us. You want us to check every mountain on the planet? Yeah, right. Who said old Raven didn't have at least a hunch up his sleeve, huh? No way! <laughs> Leave it to the number two guy in the Union. Guess this is a father knows best situation. Don't tell me you forgot your first client, you already. He might be good to chat with. Th that guy? Would this face ever lie to you? So if you can get hold of the Soulsmiths for you, you'll let the butler go? Don't see why we couldn't. Alright then, I guess we're doing that! Hello! Ah, oh, if it isn't my Faithful Delivery Guild. This may be a bit abrupt, but are you with the Soulsmiths? Soulsmiths? Oh, you mean the Blacksmith Guild? No, I'm afraid I have nothing to do with them. Um, Raven? That book these guys delivered for you. That's no ordinary book now, is it? There were guild codes written in there. You mean you looked inside it? And wait, you can read codes? Guild codes used to be a way for guilds to communicate with others in secret. Huh, pretty clever. And the soulsmiths are about the only guild still using them at this point. Dealing in weapons carefully has always been our guild's motto. Those who make the best weapons must always be neutral. So then, are you one of the soulsmiths? Which would make that novice who picked up the book a member as well. It would seem the jig is, as they say, up. Leviathan's Claw wants to get in touch with you. Oh, do they? Our boss never had that much stomach for Jaeger's unpredictability. Ah, then... But, I hear that man is dead now. Perhaps change is on the wind. It would at least be worth making contact with them. Whoa! We've got to get that written down! They'll want some sort of proof we actually met one of the soulsmiths! If I must, I suppose. Here you are. This signature represents the will of my guild. When coupled with our guild's reputation, it should be sufficient. Acquire the following. Letter to Leviathan's Claw. A letter written from the Soulsmiths to Leviathan's Claw. Written about future deals between the two guilds. Then we should be getting back to the Manor of the Wicked. Uh, let's go back to the Manor of the Wicked then! Come on, move those feet! Ugh. Hey, is that Sebastian? We've come with news about the Soulsmiths, so let Mr. Sebastian go, okay? Huh? Do I know you? We had a deal here. No clue what you're talking about. They're just toying with us. But you said if we could make contact with the Smiths and you'd let Mr. Sebastian go. Oh, you must mean the guy who was here with me. There's only one thing that happens to losers like him in the Python's Claw. Then you... Okay, this guy's gotta go. Watch that lip boy, let me see what you got! I know we're fighting. Sign of victory! Yeah! yeah! Awesome! Well, that went well. Hang in there. How do you feel? Who... who are all of you? We're Brave Vesperia! You're Sebastian? The very same, but how did you... Your employer asked that we come and pick you up. My lady sent you? Uh, how very fortuitous. Oh, that's right. Do wait here a moment. Here I am. 
Whoa, hold on. What's with the luggage? Oh, just something I nearly forgot. That's a pretty big something. Honestly, paid no mind. Well, I do owe you my thanks. Whiff. Yeah, I smell fish too, boy. We're under no obligation to interfere in everything that seems a bit off, are we? I wonder. They do say the customer's always right, but... At any rate, let's go collect our reward from our fam favorite noblewoman. E yeah. Okay, back to Zophius again. Oh, what, what, what? Okay! Shell? Yuri, my brother has returned! Huh, what? Like I said, my brother Clay is back, I, but I'm sorry, I really have to go. So they finally found Clay! We weren't very helpful at all. But Shell seemed to be in such a good mood. I'm happy for him. Maybe we should go meet the long lost brother. It's you. Looks like fate has brought us together again, Yuri Lolo. Who's this? My brother. Why would you? Y your brother? You mean this man is... So you're Clay? Why did you do it? That's what I want to know. Why did you kill my master, Loon's father? B but... I, I thought if he were gone, you, Loon, and I could... Is that what Loon wanted? I just wanted the three of us. My brother, Loon, and I were... We were waiting for you this whole time. Ah! Shell, Shell. What happened to you? Clay, do you realize what you've done? How could you do that to Shell? My father didn't teach you to use a sword so you could do something like this. I had to see that justice was done. I couldn't overlook what Shell did. Your justice was more important than Shell's life? <sighs> so stupid. I am so stupid. I should have told Shell. He was always there for me. I should have told him thank you. Clay, are you happy with all of this? I don't know. I don't even know what justice is anymore. Then why did you attack Shell? I told you, it's who I am. If I hadn't brought him to justice, it would make everything I've been until now a lie. I'd be brought down to the level of the villains I hate. But you already knew, didn't you? That's why you didn't go back to her. You'd gotten your hands dirty in the pursuit of your justice, and you felt you were no longer worthy of her. It is as you say. I dirty these ones' innocent hands for the sake of justice. I even cut down the people I wanted to protect, all in the name of justice. If your resolve is that weak, you shouldn't throw the word justice around so lightly. Huh? Anyone who learns to use a sword should know. Swords should be used to protect others. Once it's clearer to you what's worth protecting, your resolve won't waver ever again. What's worth protecting? What is it you wanted to protect? Swords should be used to protect others. That was the first thing I ever learned from my teacher. I wonder where I ended up forgetting that. Your resolve never wavers, does it? I'm just lucky enough to have a lot that's worth protecting. Hey, I owe you one. Take this. Consider it my way of saying thank you. Maybe it'll help you protect what's important to you. What are you gonna do? I can't take back what I've done. But I won't run away. I'm going to go atone for my sins. Yuri. 
How are things going over there? We left the rest of the knights. What about Clay? He went into the castle. I think he plans to turn himself in. Good. Th things should work out themselves, then. Why did this have to happen? Don't cry, Carol. We've still got a lot to do. Yuri earned the Dark Enforcer title. Well, okay then! I thought we could get this until a little bit later, but, um... Dark Enforcer, huh? Now we have the, the costume that Clay was wearing. I love this costume. I think I wore this 90% of the time during other playthroughs when I was still playing the actual game and not the post-game. Um, I love it. I just really do. Um, cutting through evil with the sword of light, you're also the subject to the, you're also subject to the justice of law. <gasps> you're Thanks to the confusion caused by the motley crew you sent to my rescue, I was able to make off with quite a haul. Well done, Sebastian, my dear. At last, I'll teach those Imperial idiots a lesson for daring to look down on my family. You do have to give Leviathan's claws some credit, though. They've got a really nice collection of re they've really got a nice collection of weapons. This should also please those excitable extremists. With us on their side, it will be a new day dawning for this empire. <laughs> and with the coming sun, this flower of the nobility shall bloom once again. Those grimy-faced commoners won't know what hit them. They want to overthrow the empire? You said once that the emperor is the one who makes their noble ranks official, right? So, if they get rid of the empire, she won't be a noble anymore. Perhaps she has eyes for the throne herself. So, what do you propose doing about it? Once hired, a guild's pretty much limited to doing the job and collecting a paycheck. But, do we just pretend we didn't hear their plans to stage a coup? Not to worry, princess. Those extremists won't amount to much trouble at all. They'll cause a bit of panic if they're lucky, and then the knights will come down on them. You really think so? Why not just pick up your reward and skedaddle? Sure, it's all right for a former knight captain to say that sort of thing. Hey, you're looking at a strict utilitarian here. Well, we shouldn't waste any time reporting this to the knights. What do you think, Chief? I'm at a loss. Well, we have... Um, we have an option here. I believe... Do we have to talk to them? Yo, we've taken care of the job. Uh, my, my! Welcome home! Uh, yes, thanks for everything. <laughs> We'd like to settle up with you if you don't mind. You did rather well for commoners. Not that the job was all that difficult. Yuri! Oh, so you don't need it? Hmm. I thought beggars couldn't afford to be choosers. I think we're gonna pass on this one. Nope, I just can't take it. Yuri? What? Do you mean to say that you won't be accepting my most charitable reward? Ooh, silly commoners! Ooh. Best to be prudent at times like this. Right. Well... Goodbye, Mimula. We don't care about you. LeBlanc, where are you? We have some people that we want to get- Ah, there he is. Hi. Hi. Criminals. Yuri Lowell. Here now, don't I say, don't in interfere in our duties. You'd better not keep us from keeping watch. Pipe down, you two. You can always count on Tweedle A and Tweedle B for a laugh. I say, what did you say? Don't you have something better to do than stand around harassing public servants? You got it all wrong. We found some people helping out the extremists. Thought you might want to know. Y you what? I say, this is of utmost importance. Off we go, Atacor. Halt! Where did you say they were? Check out the alley next to the inn. 
I say, this time it's really important. Here we go again! Sorry about our lair. Forget it. Make me proud, knights. Release me! I am a noble! How dare you, knights! Ugh! So, did we do the right thing? Sure we did. Who knows what kind of mess they'd cause if we just left them alone. Gotta say, though, it goes against the Guild Code of Conduct to tell secrets you find out when you're on a job. Really? You gotta keep quiet about any dirt you find out during a job for your client. Wow, old man, that's actually... honorable. Guilds gotta turn a blind eye to stuff their clients do, no matter how bad. Besides, sticking your nose into the client's business isn't gonna earn you any extra dough. I guess you're right, but... Take the pay you got for this job, for example. I don't know about just doing the work, getting paid, and leaving it at that. Yeah, like last time. Right. We did exactly what the client asked, and look how badly that turned out. Which reminds me, have you figured out what this whole Brave Vesperia thing is for yet? Is it for the money, because you like it? What? We... Do justice, right? Yes, Brave Asperia does what its members feel is right. Even if that doesn't always make money like Raven was talking about. I, I mean, for now, we'll still do jobs that pay, of course. Huh, so that's what Brave Asperia does. Hmm, not sure how much that actually cleared up, but... You guys sure you're all right with that? Being in a guild isn't all fun and games, you know. We never expected it to be. And even if it was, that wouldn't change how we feel. Yeah, we'll do things our own way. Huh, listen to this kid. What? I think it sounds great. So that's where things stand, old man. <laughs> Knowing you kids, you'll probably find a way to pull it off. Of course. I am sure they will. Well, in any case, I think that it's definitely time to end off the episode now that, um... Hi, how you doing? You're, you're safe. Your friend said things were bad, so I was really worried. Well, things are okay now. I'm alive. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna end off the episode here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please let me know down below what you thought of everything that happened in this episode here today. Including... Sorry, I'm half getting distracted because Yuri's window was open. The rain is gonna be going into his room. Anyway. Including... All of the side quests. That's all we did this episode. Just side quests. I hope you guys are enjoying the side quests. I'm personally, I think they add a lot of really interesting content to the game. I hope you guys are enjoying the side quest content. Um, and yeah, I think we're gonna end it here again. So uh, thanks once more for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope we have a great day night or whatever the time it is for you. And I will see you next time. That was a lot of punches. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. I went to over a bit. I went to over a bit. I punched him so hard I went to over a bit.